Hey, thanks for talking by. So I have been getting into jazz, and one of the versions of jazz played on acoustic guitar is something called gypsy jazz. And you kind of kind of have a gypsy jazz guitar to pull it off, or, or do you? Uh, we're going to find out. So I've got some gypsy jazz guitar strings. I've got a Crossroads. Uh, it's kind of a Taylor E. Martin-y knockoff, but... I love it. Uh, one of the things I don't like about it, it has a really bright sound. So these are mellow strings. If you if you look at the back, is that going to focus? Uh, maybe. Yeah. There we go. If you look at the back, it has it. You know, kind of on the more mellow side than the phosphor bronze that are on there. So if I play it, we're going to focus. There we go. <laughs> So if I play it right now, it, it sounds like an acoustic guitar, right? Nice and bright, nice and airy. Um, you start to play jazz on it. Eh. Or whatever this is. I mean, it sounds like you're playing an acoustic guitar, but you're trying to play jazz on it, right? Like, let's try a little finger style. So it works, it still sounds good, but it sounds like an acoustic guitar, right? So can I make it sound like a gypsy jazz guitar? Can we get more of that mid-range just by changing the strings? Or is there more to it than that? Well, let's put these strings on and find out. All right, so we got these things installed here and I played around with it for a minute. So here's, here's my first impressions. It still sounds like an acoustic guitar. I mean, a little bit of tonal difference, a little more mid-range. So there's more to it than just the strings, right? Like if you want the gypsy jazz sound, looks like you're going to have to have a gypsy jazz guitar. But here's what I will say about these strings. So first of all, they are 11s, which is lighter than I'm used to it feels more like you're playing electric guitar so I can see these being useful for a number of reasons for trying to play more complex things on an acoustic maybe if you're if you're learning maybe if you want to bend more um, and it does give a different feel in terms of you know just moving around on the guitar it's 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 easier to play if that makes sense and that might just be because it's a lighter gauge but I will say it doesn't seem to have altered the setup much I haven't had to adjust the truss rod and it's lighter so normally when you do something like that you're gonna get buzzing because you need to you know adjust the the truss rod or whatever but so far it's it's still good I mean, it feels a little more jazzy, I think, than the other strings. It's still not quite there.
I mean, that that sounds a lot more jazzy when you <laughs> play in finger style like that. So let's see, what else we got? Do I think? Let's see. So, will I leave these on here? I, I, not forever, I don't think. Um, <laughs> I'll probably still be hunting for a gypsy jazz guitar. But in the meantime, it's scratched and itch. And, um, yeah, I'm probably going to mess around with this guitar a little more. Um, if I'm not playing it live anywhere, this is, this is my, you know, play at the fair kind of guitar uh i can sweat on it and it still sounds good i've got an lr vags anthem in there and it it sounds great like i said a little bright this will tame some of the brightness could somebody tell uh that it's different i'm not sure i mean there's you can tell there's difference in the tension that's just the size of the strings Anyway, I like it. It was fun. Thanks for stopping by. Have fun. Keep playing.